a plus for everything and everything in its place it says in our daily life organizing things is the major part to overcome with a good lifestyle likewise in files also files should be organized to manage them easily yes i am sure me and my teammates are discussing on the unix file system let us discuss about what exactly is a file and the unix file system we all know that what is file yes file is a container for storing information records and concepts next step is the unix file system then what is the unix file system yes the unix file system is a logical method organizing and storing large amount of data in way that makes it easy to manage all data in unix systems are organized into files and files are organized into directories and those directories are organized into tree like structure files in unix systems are organized into multi level hierarchy uh, known as directory trees this is the representation of directory trees in which slash is the root directory and other files are descendant of root here are some additional information about file system everything in unix is considered as a file including physical devices such as cd roms usb drives floppy drives and so on input and output devices are also considered to be files in unix system every files in file system has a unique name with a unique anode number files on the unix system are grouped into directories same as folders in windows environment on a unix system everything is files if something is not a file it is a process file attributes are kept in a separate location in the disk and next part of the video will be continued by abhishek directory structure unix uses a hierarchical file system structure much like upside down tree which root slash at the base of the file system and all other directories spreading from there unix file system is a collection of files and directories it is a root directory slash that contains other files and directories each file or directory is uniquely identified by its name the directory it which receives and unique identifier typically called as node it is self contained there is no dependency between file system and another dot slash the slash character alone denotes the roots of the file system tree dot slash stand for binaries and contains certain fundamental utilities such as is or cp which are generally needed by all users dot boot contains all the files that are required for successful booting process dot dev stand for devices contains file representation of peripheral device and pseudo devices dot slash etc contains system wide configuration files and system database dot slash home contains the home directories for a user dot slash lib contains system libraries and some critical files such as kernel modules and hey everyone i am sesan and here i am giving the presentation about uh, creating a file system in a unix uh, there are mainly three step for creating a file system in a unix uh, create the partition using f disk or disk utility uh, format the partition using mkfs or disk utility uh, and the final step is the uh, mount the pa uh, partition using mount command creating a file we can use a simple command called as search command uh, if the file is already exist it will overwrite that file with a new timestamp uh, like it is uh, updating to the uh, updating that file uh, with a, a different name and uh, uh, what we have written in that updated file will be saved uh, uh, if the file does not exist uh, it will create a new empty file with 0 kb in size we have to write or uh, create something by using touch command for that file we cannot insert any content of the file uh, by using touch command later and the main advantages of this touch command is uh, we can create multiple files by using single command 
question of our creating a another file by using a command cat the main difference between cat and the test command is uh, in test command i had already told that if the file is already exist it will create a new empty file with 0kb in size whereas in cat command if the file is already exist it will not create a uh, same file with same texture uh, if the file does not exist it will create a new file Compressor B keyword is used to come out of all the files after pressing the content uh, and the main disadvantages of this uh, cat comment is uh, uh, only single file can be created at a time and the multiple files cannot be created at a time. Hi Mr. Vatsam, today I am explaining you about types of Unix system. Data in Unix system are organized in files and all the files are organized in directories. This is the diagram for types of uh, Unix file systems. There are six types of Unix file system. Ordinary file, directory, special files, pipes, and sockets and symbolic links. Mm. Now let's talk about one by one. Firstly, ordinary file. An ordinary file is a file or a system that, that contains data, text or program instruction. You need to store your information such as some text on have you written or an image okay. you have drawn. This is a type usually worked with. Uh, always, it is always located under the directory file. Do not contain any other files in the ordinary file. It, it uh, a long output is minus l this type of file specified by minus directives directories store both special and ordinary files for user family with windows or mac os user directories are equivalent to folders a directory file contains entry for each file and subdirectory that it hosts if a file has 10 uh, if a directory there will be 10 entries in a directory each entry has two components first one is the file name second is the a unique identity name for file or a directory it is called a node number now let's talk about special files it is used to represent a physical device such as printer tape right drive drive or terminal user it is used to input or output operation device or a special file or user to device input or output on unix linux system they appear in system just like an ordinary file or a directory on unix system there are two uh, flavors of special files character like files uh, special files or block special now let's talk about pipes unix allows you, you to link command together using a pipe. The pipe acts as a temporary file which allows exists to hold data from one command until it reads another. A Unix pipe provides one way flow of data. The output of result of the first command sequence is used to input to second command sequence to make a pipe put a particular path on a command line between two commands of for example whose pipe wc minus l let's talk about sockets a unix socket is a special file which allows for advanced inter process communication a unix socket is used in client server application frame framework in enhance it is a stream of data very similar to network stream uh, under network sockets but all also translate the local to file system in a local format output is minus l unix socket are marked by s now let's talk about symbolic link it's a large type of unix file system symbolic link is used for referencing some other file of the file system symbolic link is also known as soft link it contains text from the of the path the file references to a user symbolic link will be appearing have some own name but when you try reading or uh, writing uh, data to the file it will be instead reference there is operation to file it points to the soft link itself the data will still be there if we delete source file or move it into the different location symbolic file will be not functional properly in a long format of output uh, <coughs> is represented by a symbol L 